So I was standing around here for a couple seconds and uh, apparently now I have no head. So... That's great. Welcome back to Minecraft Factions on Olympus PvP. In the last episode, we made our final preparations, and today, I believe, is finally the day in which we are going to be taking on the Water Dungeon. So, we've got our Potion of Night Vision, which will allow us to see underwater. We don't quite have a Potion of Night Breathing, and we actually need some milk. It's the last thing, because there is that one fishy that always uh, gives us that, like, thing that makes us not be able to break blocks. And so, we're gonna need some milk if we want that to go away and defeat him and all the other creatures in there. So, now we're taking on this water dungeon, and I really want to actually take it down, but... Someone's actually chasing me down now, and you might notice I also have the Shaders mod today, so... Let me quickly take care of these people, because they don't... They, uh, oh god, I hit him with a counterattack. Sneaky Sloths has destroyed me! Hey, Sneaky's actually part of the Orange Slices, uh, faction which I completely forgot. But we also have a new faction home to check out uh, because that has changed once again. So we're gonna do that in just a second. But look at all these guys. I don't really know if they wanna fight or not, but I think they might be in the orange slices. That guy doesn't even have a name, so I don't know if he is. But let's go to the faction home first of all and see what has changed because once again, a lot has. And I just mentioned that I put on this shaders pack, but it's actually really dark when you do put it on. So I don't know if I want to keep it on, but you guys definitely let me know if in future videos you would like to see it on. Let me just turn it off for this episode though, because like I just said, it makes this place really, really dark. And we want to check out the new factions base. So welcome to the Orange Slices, also known as OS, apparently. Someone also gave me this sword, which is uh, says Mo, Blue Rocket, and Trusted You. And also a potion, Blue Rocket gives you healing. So thanks to Blue Rocket, apparently for these two things that I didn't know I had, but... Yeah, this is the new faction home, and it's actually pretty sick how you have the minion spawners, and then I think over here there's even some villagers that you can trade with, so we could definitely do that before we head out for that water temple. But either way, if you guys are excited for some more Minecraft factions, make sure to leave a like. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this. For this moment, I've been definitely waiting for it. And there it is, 49 rotten flesh. It's actually not very much. I believe it'll give me... Oh, yep, just one emerald. So even though we killed all those zombies a couple episodes ago, we are only gonna get one emerald for this, you gotta be serious. I already have sharpness on this immortal sword, right? Sharpness 2. So it's not exactly the best sword, and we do have this one as well. Sharpness 4 and knockback 2, are you kidding me? Dude, the immortal sword is weaker than the blue rocket sword we just got. Okay, well you know what? This guy right here, or this sword rather... Oh, we need 6 emeralds and a book, are you serious? Alright, well I guess we can't trade with any of these villagers, because look at how many freaking emeralds we need. I guess if we had just a bunch more, uh, rotten flesh. Either way, that's not even what we came here to do, so let's go back over here real quick. Alright, Immortal Sword, let's go out into the wilderness, because I really need to find, like, one cow. I know it doesn't sound that hard to find a cow, but for some reason, it's pretty difficult to find a cow right now. Like, you can see this place is pretty barren, but I think if we just look around for a little bit, we'll probably find quite a couple of them. Cows are really not that rare, are they? Why are they being rare when all I want is a bucket of milk? Ah, I've been reading a lot about milk lately and how, like, you know, just, just dairy and things like that. I don't know if you guys have seen it. There's this whole thing called Cowspiracy. I feel like it's been blowing up lately, so maybe you guys have heard of it. Uh, but I kind of watched that lately, and I feel a little bit different now doing this, even in Minecraft. Like, I don't re kind of feel a little bit bad at milking these cows, but, you know, we kind of need it so that we can get our, what is it? I think it just removes debuffs or whatever, that's that's literally what milk does. So if we get poison, if you get, uh, I guess not burn, but if you get that, um, jeez, I can't remember what it was called, but that puffer fish in the monument, the water temple, he gave us a sickness that made us not be able to mine at all. Well, I found some piggies. Can I milk those? I don't know. I guess not, because this bucket is not working. Pigs, why don't you give off milk? That would be great if more than one animal could give off milk, then things would be a lot easier for us right now. Maybe this is actually somehow telling me, you know, that we shouldn't milk cows because they're gonna become extinct. That's not actually probably gonna happen, but still, Minecraft is trying to give me a message right now. And it's that there's no freaking cows in this game. I even found this sick ravine, like, I know you're not a cow, but this is really cool. Also, I never really noticed, but the sky in Dokucraft is insane, man, look at this! Oh, this is so awesome. I don't know if it's like that all the time or in the previous episodes, but I definitely was not paying attention to how nice the night sky is in this uh, texture pack. A city of towers and a hatch and still no cow. 
I'm convinced that they just they don't exist at nighttime. But then again, what about all those stories about cows being abducted by aliens and all that kind of stuff? Oh gosh, that didn't even kill me because I what? Do I really have that much protection for my armor that I just take no fall damage now? Because I'm pretty sure, yeah, I do not have my game mode on. So I think this armor is just somehow that strong. That we just fell all the way down to... Oh my goodness! I think we might have just hit the mother load of someone's stash. I'm about to steal all of this because this is just a chest hanging out in the middle of nowhere, so... Wait a second, what the heck? Dude, what did I just find? Holy crap, this is so cool. This dude's got an entire bamboo farm down here. He's got a secret chest, I see that. Do I have a pickaxe? Because I see your secret chest, bro. And I'm about to loot it. Oh, okay, that's actually not anything too interesting. I thought it would be something crazier than that. What did I just pick up? Iron ore, by the way, because I did not know what the heck that was. But... This is a really, really weird kind of... What? How come... What? Why do creatures spawn inside here? I guess it's some kind of arrow spawner. I don't know the exact extent of building that, because I've never tried it, but... Maybe that iron ore actually needs to be here in order for the arrows to spawn. Oh, no, they don't. They, they spawn in there. Alright, so that's crazy. We got, uh, Burtikperkupen. Are you? Okay. I don't know what language that is, but... I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna steal your steak. That's about it. I'll leave everything else intact, just because I happen to run into your base, okay? And I really like it, so I'm not I'm not gonna mess too much with it. You know what? Since I'm a nice guy, here you go. You can you can keep half of your food. I don't really need that much anyway. I do need some milk though, and I still don't have any. Does this guy have any milk? That would probably be the best thing that he could ever have. He's got a axe, I guess. That's not too bad. We got. Another axe, actually. It's just a member's axe, though, so it's not like it's super powerful. Rabbit's foot! What the heck is this? A rabbit's foot. I mean, I know what a rabbit's foot is. I just don't know what the heck it would do in Minecraft. Alright. Well, he's got the empty buckets, but I guess my man does not have any milk. Water bucket, dude, come on. No one has any milk for us. What is glowstone dust? What the heck? Don't think I've ever seen that, but actually some books might be nice because we needed those for enchanting. So I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, cop a couple of those and get out of here before whoever owns this base shows up and probably murders me. Then again, if we took no fall damage, then maybe we're just gods. Maybe the immortals kit actually does make us pretty much immortal. So then what the heck would a god kit do? Really? There's a chicken. One lonesome chicken. So animals do spawn at night. It's just that for whatever reason, this cow that I'm looking for, just the one cow I need, is just not having it today. There's just, there's no cows outside. Look at this. There's even a pig. Another pig, I mean. And Enderman, too. Like, I barely even see those anymore. I forgot Enderman were even a thing. But you know what? Since I've played Slenderman recently, let's fight an Enderman. Oh, God. Ah, okay. That was a bad idea. He does no damage to us, though, but how does this even work? Does he just... Oh. Oh, well, I don't know. I kind of thought that Slenderman or Enderman worked similar. What is that noise? What is that? Is he really still teleporting? Oh. All right, well, you're dead. This rabbit's foot is most definitely not doing its job. I heard these are supposed to bring you good luck. In fact, it may have just brought us luck because I think... <gasps> I think we actually finally found one. Are you serious? I am so happy right now. You don't even know. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. Okay. Cow, I'm gonna need your milk. I'm sorry. I know it's you didn't ask for it. I didn't ask for it, but I got it. And so now with this milk, we can finally go home, which actually happens to be this little island. Now you might be wondering, Munching Orange, my friend, what the heck is this island that you're on? Well, um, it's just an island. Uh, that's the first thing, but... Around the island, there's something pretty special, and I actually set my home here on purpose because I knew I would never find this place again if I didn't, and so there is the water monument, or water temple. I don't care, whatever you want to call it. The only problem is I don't have any water breathing, so that might actually kind of suck. There's got to be some way for a guy to get a water breathing helmet around here somewhere, right? Is there even an enchanting table in this area? Because I'm actually not sure. What is this over here, by the way? 
All I see is some chests, so I don't think there's a table over there. What about on this side, actually? Ah, oh, I never read the sign either. Alpha Storm and Mega Storm's room. Oh, so I guess everybody just might have different rooms? Alright, well, you guys chill with your room. Where's my room, then? What if this is my room? Oh my gosh, this is my room! Except there's no sign or poster, so maybe... I don't know, actually. Either way, I don't even need a room. I just need some freaking... Uh, puffer fish or water some way to breathe underwater that's what I need right now and I guess we're not gonna find it so who cares let's go to the dungeon and probably die miserably but to be honest I put this off for so long that I just kind of want to go get the go get it now you know and by go get it I guess I mean go to this place gosh it's actually pretty far away I don't remember it being this far but it's kind of cool still going back and forth between the water underwater and back up. Actually, since we're here, now is when we should finally use our potion and fight vision. So here we go. Now we'll see that underwater, everything is clear. Kind of. Actually, I still can't see very clearly, but I guess it's a little bit clearer than it was before. That's weird, because the potion of night vision does give very, very clear night vision, but I guess it doesn't really let you see underwater as well as I thought. I don't know. I knew that you could see underwater, but I didn't know it would be like kind of this blue or fuzzy. Either way, I don't even know if this is actually the same water monument we went to last time, actually. Now that I realize it, I, I think it might even be a different one. Because it looks kind of bigger from the outside, at least. Either way, we're going to go check it out. Because I've never even seen these things in Minecraft before. So, this is the first time I'm ever going to this thing. Aside from when we very miserably failed last time. I also don't know why I used my potion of water breathing so early. Because, um... Not water breathing, but night vision. Because we just now made it to the monument, and we just got started here. So, alright, first things first. Member pickaxe, because we're going to break right through the top. Is there not even a puffer fish here? Oh god! Ah! That scared me! Jeez Louise! Okay. So there's no actual puffer fish. I think someone already raided this one too, because you can clearly see right there there's a block. So, I don't know about that, but yeah, we do have that mining fatigue. So, a little bit of milk, and oh! That actually also cured our night vision. Didn't really think about that one. Oh well, let's go. Ah, really? You get it again? You gotta be kidding me. There's some other way to get rid of this, right? There's gotta be some other way. You can't just keep getting mining fatigue over and over, right? Or can you? I don't know. Maybe we just gotta kill this guy. Let's go! My immortal sword will take you out! Ah ha ha ha! It actually took him out really quickly. Kind of surprised. Oh well, I'm about to die from suffocation, so should probably get out of here. Wait, what? Did we really just get more bubbles? Hold on, is there something I'm missing here? Because I feel like we just got more bubbles, nothing actually happened. Um, well, whatever. I guess I, I won't drink my milk just yet, actually, because I don't know if we're in the clear as of mining fatigue. So, like, I don't know if killing the guardian actually gets rid of that forever or not, but what, wait. Oh, there's the items. Okay, I was like, I knew that he dropped some items that I wanted to pick up, so... I'm gonna drop this gunpowder and probably this cobblestone. And yeah, for some reason, we are just not dying underwater. Like I thought we would. Kinda weird, huh? But welcome to the water monument! I say welcome, but I've actually never been here before, so I don't even know what I'm looking at, to be honest. Why am I not dying from water? That's what I'm thinking right now. One of our, I don't know, some kind of armor or something we're doing must be keeping me alive right now because for whatever reason, I'm just not dying from suffocation. Um, last I checked, I do have the name of a mermaid, so that could definitely be it. I don't know, I think sometimes I might actually be half mermaid. Or half uh, cleaning detergent, because apparently there's a brand of cleaning detergent called Ariel 2 with an A, but still... This, uh, dungeon so far, water temple, whatever, is not impressing me too much. There's a lot of rooms, but not really anything in them, so... I don't know, isn't this place supposed to hold, like, the nether dungeons and all that kind of stuff? So, don't know why this place is so empty right now, because that's what I thought at least. Alright, I'm just gonna drink my milky milk, because I want to be able to mine, and we can't really mine unless we drink it, so hopefully that guy doesn't show up again. That would really suck. Come on, let's get through here. Oh, no! Dang it, he showed up ugh, just in the nick of time. That also scares me every time it shows up, man. The sound it makes is really, ugh, I don't, I don't like it, man. I just, I don't like it. 
how do we even get in here? Because now I have no more milk. And I am not going to go look for another cow. Because that took me way too long the last time. So, I think we just figured... How the heck did we get in here, dude? I actually don't know. What? There's got to be a hole somewhere in the roof, right? Like, where did we mine through? Okay, here we go. Didn't even mine through anywhere. We actually just came through a hole. Is there anything in these places? Or am I just wandering around a giant, like... Not empty, but a lot of empty chambers, actually. I don't know. I thought this was how you got to the Ender Dragon back in the day, but maybe it's not anymore, or, or maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but I don't think we've been down here. And that's because it actually leads back outside, so great. What the heck are you doing, dude? What? You really think you can hurt me? Are you kidding me, dude? I can breathe underwater. I can do basically whatever I want, so... Whoa, those are some really cool blocks. Oh, I like that. Oh, well, guess that was a little bit anticlimactic, huh? I thought we'd be doing a lot of really cool dungeon exploring kind of stuff, but uh, there wasn't really much, was there? We got a sponge. Is that good? Let's put that sponge right there. Oh, All right, that is pretty good, huh? I guess you can... Can I even break this again? Oh, I have mining fatigue. I forgot. <sighs> oh well, guess we made a little room for ourselves, so I'm gonna set my home here and just, I guess, live here from now on. Why not, right? We're living inside a water monument. We'll never be able to mine, but you know what? We'll have a dang good time. So, well, I hate mining fatigue because it feels like you can't do anything during it unless you got some milk. And as you can see, I have an empty bucket. So, I basically, I can't do anything. Look, I can't even, I can't even break a simple rock. I can't even break dirt, dude. That's how to feel helpless in Minecraft. When you can't break dirt, that's when you step down to a new low. But I guess that might be the end of this episode. <gasps> Another cow! Wow, look at that. When I'm not looking for cows, I find cows so easily. And I don't even know why. I'm pretty sure my mining fatigue is actually... Yep, it's actually run out by now. So right when I find a cow is when I don't even need your milk anymore. Why does this happen to me this way? I don't know, but we'll keep some milk, just in case. For future reference, we might need some milk. Blue Rocket has given us this sword, and so I feel like we need to put it to some good use, man. I wanted to use it to take down that Guardian, but he actually ended up being super easy to kill, which I was not expecting at all, so... I guess we'll use it to kill whoever this guy is right over here. Just hope he doesn't have any golden apples. Let's find out right now, I guess. Oh, you missed your arrow, bro. And I missed mine, I guess. Nope. I, he hit me with two. I've, I've hit him with none. Oh, there's one. All right. All right. Three in a row. Ooh. Nope. That, I thought I was going to get four. Come on, man. Wait, what the heck? What is happening? Am I dizzy? What am I dizzy from? Oh, God. Ah, what's happening? Nausea. Why am I nauseous? Am I nauseous from eating too many arrows? Oh, well. Um, I'm actually just noticed that I do not have any food, so I'm about to die. Hmm. Let's hide behind this tree for a little bit. It needs some nice, delicious meal. Is this guy coming over here? Because I totally can kick his butt if we just use, use the blue rocket sword. Come on, man. Give me that blue rocket sword. Oh. Hmm, you know what I also realized I could do? I have the advantage of cover. I guess now he does too. Whereas... Oh. <laughs> Got him. Oh, he's running away. Oh, this dude doesn't want any of it. And I'm not chasing after because I don't even feel like running, to be honest. So, you know what, man? You get off easy this time. But next time, the orange will get you. And you won't... Oh. Where did he go, actually? Oh, there he is. I don't know what's going to happen, to be honest. Because I thought today we were going to have some epic fight. And then we didn't. But then we had this epic fight. So, I guess it was just a different kind of fight. Ooh, it's still going. Never mind. It's still going. Oh, baby. I like it. All right. Come here, man. Let me shoot your feet a little bit. No? You don't like this? <laughs> Alright. Anyway. Ramiko man, come on, I'm just trying to call a truce, bro. I'm not I'm not trying to harm you or anything. I just I wanna give you something. Come here, buddy. I hurled a lot of arrows at you in my lifetime. And so I thought I should give you something nice back. I just need you to stop, dude. Come on, man. I'm just I'm trying to give you something. Where did he even go? I just what? Did he just disappear? Huh? I guess he signed out well either way um thank you so much for watching if you guys enjoyed it stay tuned for the next episode as we go and i guess do some more anticlimactic exploring